everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. I got a spicy one today, playing um, a deck called Tinfins. Now, this is a deck that is uh, has somewhat fallen by the wayside. I think it's been uh, pretty much just surpassed by the Black Red Reanim Reanimator deck as the, the sort of Entomb Reanimate deck of choice in the format. But for a while, this was you know, just the wildest thing to be doing. And so just in case you, you're not familiar, um, basically this deck wants to put uh, an Entomb on the stack and put a Gristlebrand into the graveyard. And then it wants to cast either Shallow Grave or Gorio's Vengeance. Um, basically, f for all intents and purposes, these two cards are the same in this deck. Um, for two mana, they let you at instant speed, reanimate a creature, and that creature gains haste, and then it's exiled at the end of turn. So, with Gristlebrand, this lets you draw seven, draw seven, so draw 14 cards uh, if you're above 15 or more life, and then you get an attack, it gains you seven, you draw seven more, so it's, you can draw 21 cards, and then, like, this deck is so wacky, what you get to do is, with Children of Corliss, um, this lets you sacrifice children to gain life equal to the life you've lost this turn. So in the scenario I just painted, you've paid 21 life, you've drawn 21 cards, you then sack, you get Children of Corliss into play, and uh, sack it, you gain 21 life. So now you're at, like, uh, whatever you're at at this point, uh, 22, 23, whatever. Then you can draw 21 more cards, and then you can like get children back with a Shallow Grave or uh, the one of Reanimate and sack it again. And we're also playing Emrakul. Now, because both Gorio's Vengeance and Shallow Grave are instant cast, we can reanimate Emrakul and give him haste um, with his shuffle trigger on the stack. But what we can also do is basically use one of the thought seizes, the Cabal Therapy, or the Unmask to discard Emrakul once we've drawn all these lovely cards with Gristlebrand and Children of Corliss. This will shuffle the graveyard, and we can just keep going, and we can literally go infinite with the deck, and just keep drawing and drawing, and eventually, or not eventually, this will be probably before you get to that, but you can, you can kill the Tendrils. So that is what what you need to do, and I was toying with not having like having one of these only as a win con, but the thing is, you might need if you've expended all of your mana or your um, like all your dark rituals, then you need the Emrakul to shuffle the the deck and draw the the rituals again in order in order to have mana to cast tendrils. Um, also, you know, then you might say, why not just, uh, you know, don't have tendrils. You can, we can deal 22 with the Emrakul, but we can't reliably, um, uh, because we might need the attack step with Gristlebrand to draw the additional seven. And once we've taken the attack, the Emrakul sort of serve for 22 is no longer an option. So... The, the the weak points of this deck is just I think it's it's less consistent than Black Red Reanimator. Um, it it pro I think it yeah it I think it has a higher fail rate as well. Like let's say that you aren't able to go turn one or turn two and you get to a point where you're at like I don't know. Let's say you're at fourteen or below, like getting what you need on the first two Gristlebrand activations is not a sure thing. So, but um, it's definitely a, a, a cool and wacky thing. I wanted Days in here. I've, I've played a version of this deck that had, like, Force of Will 2, but your your blue count is just, like, really, really low. And I think... I mean, Force of Will would also be, be fine. But um, I think as it is, like, being able to, to combo on turn one or two with the Days is a lot of the time where you want to be at. And we, we do have, like, three pitch, um, like, zero mana interaction uh, in the black 
uh, color palette. I might want the, the grief to be a third unmask because you do want to be able to discard yourself. But having the one-off grief, we also have the one-off reanimate. I don't know. I just it feels fair enough uh, to have one grief. Um, yeah, I've built the mana base with the dazes in mind, so I have one tundra. And then let's look at the sideboard because, as you will notice, I have put in this doomsday package. And this is not just because I love Doomsday, which I do, but it's also because it is really nice to be able to sidestep Graveyard Hate. Now, the, the only weakness to that sort of theory, I think, is Endurance, because Endurance hoses both, like, Reanimator and Doomsday. So I've also added a Relic of Progenitus for the, uh, the, the, the Endurance matchups. But other than that, um, yeah, I don't know, I mean... I added a couple of surgical extractions for the reanimator mirror. Um, added a massacre for like white weenie, which there isn't really a lot of, so this might be better or something else. And added an echo in truth, but I'm not sure. Like I think versus grave, like anti graveyard, especially stuff like uh, graph diggers cage and leyline. I think the plan is to become doomsday, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is mostly a for fun. Uh, exercise um i think like once every five or six years i get a i get a niche to play this deck and um going off with it sure feels amazing so let's try and see if we can do that and um let's jump into a league all right round one on the draw and our opponent is a yorion deck and i'm gonna keep this hand it doesn't have the a part of the combo but we have a brainstorm that hopefully tie us over so we have two B parts, uh, the Gorio's Vengeance and the Reanimate. So yeah, if we can find an Entomb with the double days here, we're, uh, we're cooking. So, Yurion, hmm. So it's either some kind of blue soup concoction or it's uh, Death and Taxes, I guess. And opponent has Mulligan to six. All right, not death and taxes. Um, Misty Rainforest, go. Okay. Well, Cabal Therapy. Uh, did, 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 did. I, I am gonna run the risk of them having Wasteland here and float my, my, Underground Sea. I'm I'm so, I'm undecided if I want to end of turn brainstorm here. And while I make up my mind over that, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna run the risk here. So they have access to two mana here. I'm not sure what the worst thing that. Oh, bummer! They have the wasteland, and they fired off. Okay, I'm gonna brainstorm here. Okay, it's not the worst. So let's put back a Gorio's Vengeance, and we'll draw this. Cabal therapy, I guess. All right, and they float a ponder. So we can get basic island, basic swamp set up here. They don't shuffle. I think I'm just gonna go scalding tarn here, and then I'm gonna fetch before my next draw step and um, be able to, okay, Sylvan Library. Do we daze this? No, I think I'm not gonna daze this. I would probably daze this in any other, like playing any other deck here. But um, I think like we have double days which does mean we need to this to fetch an underground sea. Um, okay, and I think we we can maybe incentivize them to tap out, like they'll just draw a bunch of cards here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We found the entomb. That was the the clutch. 
card here. So if we can get them to tap out, or even like just leave one mana untapped, I think that's pretty good. So what's better, a Cabal Therapy or a... Yeah, no. Nah. Consider. I'm going to put back the Consider. And pass. Not going to... I could Entomb now, but I'd rather not, like... Yeah, maybe I should have done that, though. Because I was going to say I'd rather not incentivize them to draw, like... Uh, to, to like dig for endurance or something but like what from what they've seen so far brainstorm and underground sea i feel like they probably know we're on a we're on a uh um what do you call it like either doomsday or reanimator so i think i'm actually going to take the consider now and i'm going to I'm going to Cabal Therapy here. I'm going to name Force of Will. So they have brain, double brainstorm, some like plow and stuff. Okay. So I'm going to pass here. There's a snake. I think I probably... I probably Entomb now. The Entomb's going to go through. They will like look long and hard for for an endurance I guess yeah, if they find the endurance uh, we're in trouble if they find Caracas that's also not not great though Caracas like we still get to draw 14 okay well let's see they find a wasteland here, it's a little bit annoying, but not like I don't know. Okay, they didn't draw three. Interesting. I guess I uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's neither Caracas nor Ooh, natural order. Right into the days. Gotta love it. All right, that felt decisive. All right, here we go. Is this going to draw a concession? No. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, we can almost just win now. Oh. Well, let's draw, draw seven more. Okay, plan T. So let's just, I, I don't know, maybe our opponent is going to concede. But I just want to see how far I can I can get here. Show you how this is going to work. So. Let's get the children. And go to one and reanimate. The children of Corliss. And so we sack, we gain 15 life. We can draw some more cards here. And we can uh, play some more dark rituals. We obviously can just like cast the tendrils now. But um, seeing as our opponent is so kind, we're going to cast a Shallow Grave, get back the children, and go sack. All right. So we just have to not deck ourselves. So this is the last Crystal Brand activation for now. Um, let's... Uh, let's... Thought sees ourselves actually. Yeah, nah. Let's just um, let's just cast the tendrils. No need. I was gonna say let's uh, thought sees ourselves and get Emrakul into play, but there's no need to for us to show 
them our whole hand. All right, cool. Awesome, we got to do the thing. Uh, had to bide our time. Uh, turn five seems like uh, an eternity with this deck. All right, so do we want the Doomsday Package? I think probably. The Wastelands kind of have me scared about doing Sheldark Isle stuff, but on the other hand, I've actually, we probably don't want the, the, the LED. So I think we want these nine cards. And so let's shave on some of the... Uh, some of the shenanigans here. Don't want the tendrils. Don't want the chrome marks. Don't want the Goryeo's vengeance. We'll cut the reanimate. Baby, basically, like shave on the on the reanimator side of things. Maybe that's it. So we can still like entomb for Gristlebrand. And like. Without the tendrils, is that good enough? If we need the attack step, then the Emrakul is off the table. I suppose you could start looping with children and eventually just like get enough mana to like with Grizzlebrand and play Resolve Doomsday. Um, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Let's try this. All right. Well, this hand is almost great, but then, like, ultimately not at all. So let's mulligan. Uh, this isn't great, but let's keep this and bottom the the Emrakul. Opponent kept seven. Okay, there's grief. I think I'm gonna thought seize them here and then we can keep the shallow grave to pitch to grief on subsequent turns. Okay. So, <clears throat> what do we take here? It's, it's tempting to leave them with like no brainstorm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So their hand is pretty weak here. This doesn't bounce the lands, right? No. You can bounce Emrakul though. That's pretty, pretty obnoxious. All right, this, wow. <laughs> oh. This hand. Um, hmm. So what to put back here? Probably we don't need the days. So like one of the, I suppose like put back shallow grave, put back days, and then we pitch grief, uh, pitch Gristlebrand to grief. Then I suppose it's better to put Gristlebrand back just in case something goes wrong. It's better to have a Gristlebrand in the deck than a. Fourth shallow grave. Mm, maybe we don't need the petal. Although if they like go hard with wastelands, then it that might be good. All right, let's put back Gristlebrand and yeah, I'll hang on to the days. It might it, it you know that might come up. Um, yeah, I'll put back. Uh, it's hard. I'll put back the pedal. Yeah. All right. There we go. So I will pitch Shallow Grave to this Grief. And unfortunately, we can't take the Soaring City. Uh, let's see what they drew. Are they gonna plow this grief? That would, that's like 
the best outcome possible, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense they're afraid that we're going to reanimate it. Okay, so they drew a Tundra. Alright, let's take the Endurance. And, um... Let's go... Dark Ritual Doomsday. <laughs> now, mind you, with this, like, if... if no, we would need, have needed one more card. I was going to say, like, it's, it would have been better to just get, like, the plan A. Uh, humming and hawing now, but... All right, let's... Um, so let's go like this, and I'm not sure what the last card we want here is. I usually put like a piece of disruption. So they can bounce with with Ottawara. They can channel and bounce Emrakul. So we don't get to annihilate them. We just do, we do get the time walk. Um. So once that happens, maybe we just want like a cycler, but then again, also, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we actually did want a relic for just this exact, like if they if they like just like draw a, another endurance, then depending on how they play this out, then they can uh, they can get us. Uh, yeah, nah. let's let's put in uh, Thoughtseize for good measure. All right, so Thassa and Cavern on the bottom, and then just make sure we draw the Shell Dock. And I just hope they don't like spike a surgical here to shuffle our deck. To ferry would also be annoying, but we can we have days if they drop to ferry right now. Um. So the question is if if they when they see Sheldock, if they have the wherewithal to you know be aware they need to keep open Ottawara. Um they could also just spike a wasteland. I'm unclear for me how many a deck like this plays. Okay, there's Vista. So their hand is Ottawara and two unknowns. So we don't know what we're going to draw here, so... Question is if we just wait here? Um, with the Emrakul? Mm, no. I think it's fine to get him going now. And, I mean, because if for some reason they, they don't use uh, the thing, then we get to annihilate their board. And these channel lands really are uh, quite cool. Okay. So, what's this? Four man? Oh, that is cost for it, sure. Yep. All right. Then I think if we draw Thassa now on our time walk turn, uh, we can just go for it. Yeah, and we do. Their hand is two blanks. I don't know that they could have anything uh, that makes this important, but uh, let's just... Yeah, I didn't think about that, that they needed to tap out. For some reason, I had it in my head that uh, the Ottawara uh, was a two-mana uh, champ. All right, cool, man. Oh, awesome start to the league. Uh, got to do the whole Tinfin and uh, and got to do the Doomsday for, uh, for uh, the sideboard game. All right, on to round number two. All right, round number two on the draw. Got a pretty promising hand. We just need to hit like a, a reanimate spell. I'm gonna keep this opponent mulligans to six. The old triple entomb. So like if we just, if we were to top deck uh, Shallow Grave or Gorio's Vengeance, then it's just like living the dream. But oh, it's the Mar Marsh Flats Mirror. Mm, oh, this is, Dicey is 
pack. I think I'm gonna, like if this is the reanimator mirror, then you know, it's really scary to put an entomb into pl uh, on the stack when you're not able to immediately do what you're uh, planning to do with your reanimation spell. Oh, bummer. Ponder, ponder didn't pay off, so. And we could unmask now. Maybe that would even be the correct play. Like, ideally, you want to unmask or, like, do your uh, interruption on, on the turn you're about to go off. But I think, actually, I am going to unmask them now. This punishes us if we draw a Gristlebrand on our next draw step. All right. Is this Entomb in response? Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm, nah, not so cool. Not. Okay. So, I mean, obviously the take is animate dead, but we're in, uh, we're in some amount of trouble. I think the best we can hope for is obviously either we draw what we need, but if not, is for them to... No, oh, so they exile two swamps. They have reanimate. Oh no, don't say it. Don't do it. So their hand is grief plus X. Oh, okay. Thoughtsies. Phew. All right, they probably take dark ritual here. But yeah, I was gonna say like, so now they can't they can't uh, exhume. Oh no, we drew it. Okay. Well, if they draw something to pitch to their grief, that is your graveyard. Yeah. All right. So they can't like in exhume doesn't do it for them. It has to be reanimate. Oh, there's just hard casting grief. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to let them uh, just take the child grave, I guess. We have seven more, eight more with the reanimate. So I'm just going to, I am going to entomb here. Get our own gristle brand and see if we can spike. I ponder is a good good draw. There we go. All right. So let's see if we uh, if we win or if we hit the fail rate. Um. No. 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 We're all good here. Um. All right. So let's, uh, okay, they can see. I was going to play Lotus Petal, cast Dark Ritual, cast Entomb for Emrakul, and then Emrakul, uh, like, reanimate with Gorio's Vengeance, sort for 22. All right, sweet. Not sure if Doomsday is where we want to be at here. Maybe, like, maybe their plan is to bring in, like, Dothy Voidwalkers. So I could see that. We could also, seeing as we won game one here, just not really do the Doomsday thing and save that for a potential game three. So we have these three hate cards. And I guess we can shave Consider. And maybe like Cabal Therapy. And what else? What's the last cut? Oh gosh, it's tough. Kind of feels like maybe a piece of mana, but also like that's how we fail. That's how we whiff is like not hitting one of our five like artifact rocks. Um, so on the draw, maybe days. Actually, maybe days is just a much better cut than I am. What I'm like, what am I saying here? Maybe cabal therapy is better than a. In a daze? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because, like, 
like daze is there primarily for counter magic. It's obviously nice enough to be able to daze them uh, on like going off, but I don't think it's gonna be relevant that often. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It might be silly. All right. This uh, is like the uh, definition of a um, sort of ponderous hand, I suppose. I don't know if we can keep this. Probably not. Like five mana pieces is probably one too many. Yeah, this is uh, certainly a keep. Uh, only problem is we might just lose turn one here or at the very least have our hand disrupted would be my guess yep there's grief pitching a traxa and so what do you take here like if they take our gristle brand then i'm really scared oh no okay i doubt anything good is going to come of this but uh they even have the dark ritual scoundrels Yep. So they get to draw. They only get to draw seven, so I'm not conceding quite yet, but uh, I'm seriously doubtful that uh, there's a way back for us here. Dothy, yeah, get wrecked. All right. So knowing what we know, I think I am going to bring in the Doomsday Package. And I do... Do I want the cavern? Probably not. Like, the only reason to have cavern versus them is if they're playing, um, like, Chancellor of the NX. I think mostly they're not. Uh, so we want Consider back for this. So let's um, maybe just completely... Right, right, yeah. Completely cut. Now we can't cut all of the reanimation stuff. So we probably need one gristle brand in there, but I just really don't want what just happened to happen again. Um I suppose the surgical oh sorry not the surgical, the um the one of reanimate is the the most relevant card to, to keep in out of the reanimation stuff. So we can maybe cut like uh, one shallow grave, two and tomb, one more shallow grave. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. It's not pretty when you do this sort of uh, like transformational sideboard, but um, yeah, it is what it is. very slow I think we can do better all right I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this um, it's not it's far from amazing but uh, yeah that's all right. Um, I'm gonna keep, gonna bottom the uh, the children here. Opponent kept seven. I'm gonna cycle Street Wraith if we just randomly luck into a uh, Doomsday. It's great. Uh, that's not so great. I was gonna say like a discard spell would also potentially be great because we have the the singleton reanimate. Well, at least they would need. No, not at least. They would just basically need what they had last turn. Dothy, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so we just need Doomsday. I would take a discard spell. But the the heat is on now with the uh, with the Dothy. It's a, it's a Delver. Another one? Sure. Okay. 
Yikes. Yeah, okay. So we can no longer pass now. Like if we were to draw Doomsday, we, we can't Doomsday pass. So now we need both Doomsday and uh, like a Cycler or a Brainstorm. Yeah, rough, 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 rough. We could... No, I was going to say we could like uh, hope that they... They put in Grizzlebrand here and pass, but like we would drop to one. And yeah, they just discard like two lands. So we really need, I think, a brainstorm here and then brainstorm. Yeah, there's nothing too crazy here that I would worry about them taking. We need brainstorm to hit like. Doomsday plus another Brainstorm, or Doomsday plus uh, the Edge of Autumn. Okay. So I guess we have one more draw step. Yeah. Um, so we drop to three. Doomsday would take us to one. I don't know, am I supposed to maybe like pay mana and Surgical Extraction this, this Faithless Looting? Just to not have them like this would certainly be blown out heavily if their remaining cards are like in tomb exhume yeah I think I'd better like they'll be tapped out if they if they flash it back uh yeah sure that's fine it's not really going to do anything here. Uh, come on, Brainstorm. No. Okay. GG's. GG's opponent. Dothy's got me. All right, all right. Trophy dream is gone, but uh, that was probably not going to happen <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's uh, see if we can do better for round number three. All right. Um... Yeah, I'm down for this. I'm on the draw once more, but we have everything we need here, except, like, we need one more mana. Which hopefully we can get. Come on. Still in thought sees me, bro. No. Oh. Sure. Ooh, they hit double Vengevine. Uh, what do we do here? I suppose we Ponko Ponder, looking for, uh, or do we? Do we Ponder, or do we just Entomb and hope that we naturally Luck Sack the land? I think I'm going to Ponder. Uh, yikes. Okay. I think I'm going to unmask them. Maybe I should have done that already, like before I Pondered. <laughs> oh yikes that's terrible um so this triggers so do they just get to cast this and then trigger so hang on I take a blood ghast because I have to I suppose I could take Hogak. It doesn't matter though, does it? So they will have, they'll play their fetch land, fetch, uh, tap out to cast one of the two blood ghasts, and then maybe, maybe I'm, maybe, oh yeah, I can daze. Yeah, so I do think it's, it's Hogak here, and then my plan has to be to daze. I'll just buy me one turn though. Wow, terrible. Maybe I'll like draw a dark ritual. And even they hit double Vengevine off of that Stitcher supplier. Yikes. I suppose Hogak would have to exile like delve so away some of the Vengevines. So maybe it wouldn't have been the end of the world. I don't know. Come on, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. Ritual. Not Dark Ritual, but this does ensure we, we get the land, uh, we get the uh, 
second, like, next turn a Shallow Grave. So, and hopefully, okay. I found another land. So, that got back the Blood Gas. This could cast Blood Gas. So now they can cast Hogak, but how much do they need to delve? Maybe one of the Venshines? No. They could just fetch if that was the case. Yeah, so we take 8 now, we drop to 10, and drop to 9. We might still win, but it's certainly, like, it's one less, one fewer reversal brand activations. Alright, let's go, G-Daddy. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, 7 good ones. Yeah, we don't even need uh, to draw anymore. Wow, that was... Uh, that was really good. Let's uh, take one of the... Nah, let's take the Gorios. We can even unmask them for their last card for good measure. Yep, okay. So Bayou. Or Zemrakul. There we go. With the trigger on the stack, get back Emrakul, shuffle the library. And there we go. Wow, sweet, 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 sweet. So I think um, you'd have to imagine this deck could be in the market for like ley lines. So maybe I bring in like my ancient truth, uh, sorry, my echoing truth. Ideally, I don't want to show them, I don't want to, like, like, oh, I don't know. Winning game one makes me less inclined to do the transformation. Also, just because this deck is so aggro, it's not a very good matchup for Doomsday. Um, maybe I'll, like, add a coin truth and a surgical extraction, and I'll cut two days maybe I don't even hate like cutting the last days for the second surgical yeah let's try this all right yeah I mean I'll, I'll take this Another Stitcher Supplier. No Vengevine this time. That's nice. The last time when we thought seized them, it kind of sucked. Um, but would we take like a Hogak? We have to reanimate. I don't know. Then we would have to Dark Ritual. I don't know. Maybe we just ponder. I know I'm a scaredy pants. Scaredy cat. Uh, let's shuffle that. So we need... We have A covered. We need B. Alright. Cabal therapy here is going to be guaranteed a hit. So I wonder what they... They know we don't have Entomb, most likely. Okay, but that is the card they name. Sorry if you heard some Velcro there. I'm just taking off some shoes. Okay, so they get their attack in, and they probably name Shallow Grave. Although, I don't know. If they have, like, a Surgical Extraction in their hand, they might, or, like, some other, like, Fairy Macabre, they might take the Thoughtseize here. It's risky for them with the Stitcher. Okay, so now they mill. If they hit, like, and they did have hit Hogak, they almost have to name Reanimate, right? I mean, I'm not sure if if we want to take 7 to get an 8-8 eight, eight Trample, but it might just be good enough. Yeah, they probably have to name... Yeah, they take Reanimate here. Alright. So... Let's um, 
Why don't we just draw an Entomb? Hey, how about that deck? Or I, I would also take a Gristlebrand, even though then we do lose to their Surgical or whatever it is. Just not another Cabal Therapy, please. Okay. That's not a therapy. That's sort of one of their activation dudes. Okay. I'm going to Thought Seize. What do you have? Oh, wow. The deck you just don't ever want to fucking Thought Seize. Jeez. It's the second time where it... Well, this time it felt even worse. This is like actively terrible uh, for me to take out of their hand. They only had two lands, so I mean, we are sort of not doing anything and neither are they. Ugh, Jesus. Like, if I had not thought seized, I could have at least emerald them right now and wiped their board. Not that that's necessarily that amazing. Okay, I'm going to just pass here. Take my medicine. Hope they don't, like, draw anything too insane. Or maybe just not anything at all. I'll take a brainstorm. Okay, so, I mean... Their hand is, their hand is a land and two unknowns, which are spells they're not casting, is like losing my shallow grave worth, and my thoughtsies, worth taking, like annihilating them. They lose their board, they get a zombie. They, they would have a zombie, which I could then, you know, bounce if I wanted to. They would be at four. But is that enough of a thing? Like, they're at four or at 19. Does it really matter that much? I don't think they have spells that deal them damage. I mean, we aren't very far from Hogak coming into play, so I think maybe we do, do just want to do this. And I'm going to drop the 13 from the Thoughtseize. So that's obviously not great. Uh, and, yeah, do the thing. So this will also nuke the, their bridge from below, but not before they get a token from the, the carry-on feeder that dies here. No, I guess not. I guess actually because Emrakul dies here, is, or is exiled, so they don't lose their uh, their bridge. Disappointing. That was the... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they have a creature? Oh, it's Faithless Looting. Okay. I mean, that's um, that's not terrible for them. They only need, like, one more creature to cast... Uh, Hogax, I think I actually, I'd better, I'd better uh, bounce this, this uh, zombie into Oblivion. They might just flashback therapy now. They know we have Dark Ritual and they, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to drop to 10 here, which is also not stellar for us. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's hope they don't... Um, at some point, want to to flash back the Cabal Therapy and name Dark Ritual. Okay, there's a feeder. There's no blood gas in the graveyard. Hmm. What might they have that they wouldn't have cast? Uh... Could be a blood gas. We don't want them to have a blood gas in the in the graveyard though, so I'm not gonna name that. They would have cast probably Stitcher Supplier before Carry On Feeder. They could have like an altar altar of dementia. I'm gonna try and name that. Oh, maybe I'm just like I'm spewing off this therapy. This means if I draw uh, isn't it called Altar? Altar, that's how you spell. Altar. 
Um, yeah, if we draw Crystal Brand next turn, I'm going to feel super sad. Okay, they have Bridge from Below and Hogak. Right on. They're also at three now. Like, Grief wouldn't be the worst. Thoughtseize is not the best. Also, what am I saying about drawing Gristlebrand here? I don't have a reanimation spell. Oh, I need a brainstorm badly. I'd even take, like, Children of Cor Corliss right now. Honestly, I think probably Grief is one of my best draws. <sighs> Jesus. All right, all right, all right. We've not seen, like, Graveyard Hate from them. Okay, Faithless Looting is pretty scary. Yeah, there goes. So they have Hogak and three unknowns. Not something they were looking to discard, though. Okay, Ponder is something. Do I take the Brainstorm here and then, like, take another draw step and get to see two unknowns? No, I think I shuffle. Well, there's Entomb. I think this is where we we uh, unmask them. Okay, there are the ley lines. So that's very good to know about. I suppose Cabal Therapy is what can cause me the most trouble here, I think. They already have Hogag in the graveyard, so it doesn't, ma like, doesn't matter if it's in their hand or in the graveyard. Okay. So any reanimation spell wins us the game. No, no. any shallow grave or uh, the other thing. Um, Gorio's vengeance. Come on. No. Damn it. We're dead to like them reanimating their revenge vine. And that's now, because now they get to cast Hogak, and um, and then bring back, um, and that triggers the two Vengevines. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay, so they showed us ley lines. I would rather not try and have to beat a a, a ley line. So I think I'm going to convert to Doomsday. Even though I did say that, that like Doomsday doesn't really enjoy playing against uh, Hogak. And yeah, these are the eight. So what? how much do we need to cut from the, the reanimator game? Probably the Emrakul and the Reanimate and the Cabal Therapy. I think the Echoing Truth, I think now I'm just mostly going to be about like uh, beating their, beating their, uh, their Graveyard Hate by going under it with, with the Doomsday. And not about bouncing it. All right, let's uh, be on the play. And yeah, this does nothing. This. <laughs> all right, all right. We can't keep this. This hand doesn't function. Double one half of the combo and double the completely the other completely um no not one half of the combo double one combo and then double a completely different like i do think we mulligan rather well against this opponent um it, but you know it's a slippery slope and all that um 
opponent also mulligans to six. Yeah, I'll keep this. And um, bottom, I'll bottom edge of autumn, and um, probably the dark ritual. And opponent kept. Uh, no, they mulligan to five as well. They're fishing for their ley lines, I would assume. Yep, they found one, so good news is they've mulliganed to four, effectively. Do I dare thought seize them? That's the question. I do dare, I think. Surely there must be some relevant card for me to take that doesn't hurt me. Well, that's close. Um, this only can be cast from the graveyard if you control the zombie already. I'm going to take their Faithless Looting. It'll be a while before they can um, they can get that going. I could have taken the Gravecrawler, but yeah. Sure. Come on, Doomsday. Do, 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 Doomsday. That's not Doomsday. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's cast Brainstorm. Right. And let's uh, ponder. So hang on, how much mana can we get up to? <laughs> uh, two becomes four, becomes seven. Yeah, no. It's not Gristlebrand mana. Oh, Doomsday. Just need to not die right now. And then also not die next turn, please. Yeah, because we can't win the same turn with this, what we have right now. It does depend on what uh, the draw step gives us. Okay, they have a second land. A second grave crawler. Okay, so, I mean, we'll be at eight here. So if they could somehow get their revenge friend to play, we'd be dead. Oh, never mind. We just win. Sick. That was uh, the best top deck possible. Okay. So we want consider. We want um, lines out diamond. We want two cyclers and street rigs. Uh, sorry, uh, Thassa's Oracle. Exactly what we have. All right. Uh, Thoss on the bottom with a cycler. And these three on top. Put back the blank and consider. And sack for blue. Draw the consider. Put ponder in the graveyard, meaning into exile. hey -o. We got there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, two and one. Let's see if we can keep it up. All right, first match on the play, I think. Uh, round four, let's let's go. Uh, <laughs> well, this hand almost does everything. We can, like, turn one a, an Emrakul attack, but that seems like it's a waste. So the, the the question is, do we? I mean, I'm going to keep this hand. The question is, if we if we thought seize or keep consider slash brainstorm open for uh, for the um, in, in in the event the opponent has wasteland. I don't think I even touched on that in the in the um, in the deck tech, but this is why like the doomsday uh, duke is why we have like a split of three one. Three ponders, one consider. Oh yikes! Okay, putting them only getting to five. I think this increases the likelihood. I wanna, I wanna thought seize them. Uh, yeah, I think I want to thought seize you. Whoa! Ay ay ay! It's Delver. Okay. I think it's the force. Yikes! This is gonna be a bit like tough. Uh, but we, we can play around a daze. We can't play around a force. It obviously means we have to draw, like, um, another land or mana source. That was a good, um, good mull to five. Okay, I'm going to take the draw step here and not cast consider. Uh, I think I'm going to cast consider now. I'd rather have them daze this than the brainstorm. 
Okay. I'm going to put ponder in. And, oh, rewarded. That was lucky. Delver flips off of ponder. It's tough. Tough, tough, tough. So their hand is Days Murktide Ponder and X. I would really hope they didn't find a wasteland right now. That would be really great. Also, not a force of will. Please and thank you. They do not shuffle. Okay. If they don't play a land drop here, then I'm quite concerned that they didn't shuffle. Okay. So they know about the brainstorm that we just drew, not the one we have in hand. That, oh, that was amazing. That was just the, the absolute nuts. Question is if they're going to let us cast this dark ritual through the days. I mean, they might. I'm going to try. And if they daze it, they daze it. They didn't waste us. That means they're not going to waste us next turn. I don't think. Okay. Yeah, got dazed. So let's hope. The, the Like, we're going to be at a fairly precarious low life total. Especially if we end up double thought seizing. Hopefully we don't. Um, so we're at 11. We're going to be at 9. Okay. Murktide, Ponder, Blank. I think I unfortunately have to thought seize them here. Oh, unless I draw Unmask. I mean, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, not necessarily anyways. We are going to have to get lucky here. With, um, we will get 14 cards off of Crystal Brand. We'll have mana to play with, so that's good. Okay, let's, uh, oh, whatever, Let, let's take the force. Let's see. They might concede to the Gristle Brand. They also might not. I mean, they shouldn't, obviously, but some people, I think, just sort of auto concede, myself included, at times. Okay, that was an atrocious uh, seven, so gonna have to attack here. They should block. They don't. Okay. They should block because this makes tendrils. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we got there. Because now we get to do Children of Corliss stuff. Uh, let's get the children. Won't somebody please think of the children? Drop to three. Sack the children. Draw 14. And yeah, now we just get to get to live the dream. Uh, we've not made a land. We actually don't have a shallow grave. We only have Gorio's Vengeance. So right now we're actually, we're blocked. Don't believe I played a land, but do I have it have any more that can't be fetched? Yeah, I do. So let's just make a mana count here. Yeah, this is awkward because Gorio's Vengeance obviously only gets legendary creatures. Getting Emrakul into play now doesn't matter. So what we need is to hit a one of the three remaining shallow graves, or 
like uh, the tendrils. We only have one go at the tendrils right now. No, we also have the we have the the chrome locks. All right, let's have a look. Oh, there's a shallow grave. All good. All good. Um, uh, Get the children gain what? A lot. Draw seven. Draw seven. And that should do it. And we could like keep going by shuffling the Emerald like discarding it, um, but let's not do that. Let's just uh, cast tendrils. All right, opponent did mulligan to five, but it was a pretty strong five. And um, we kind of got there the last turn that we we could, I think. All right, cool. I don't know that I want to be Doomsday here. Maybe on the play. But also, like, Delver doesn't typically play Ley Lines. So their disruption isn't going to be, like, Surgicals and maybe, like, Graph Digger's Cage. I, I don't even know that them having Cage means we we want this. If we don't have it, then we're pretty much just cold to a resol resolved cage, but I think I'm actually just happy with the way the, the main deck is. Crazy as that sounds. All right. I mean, yeah, this rocks. This slaps, as I believe the kids say. Just don't have it. Oh, thank God. No cage. I think if we draw land here, I'm okay to wait a turn. Oh, days. Days makes me feel like not waiting. I mean, we can't win. We can't do the whole combo right now, but we can, we can unmask them to see if they have surgical and whatever. And then we can, we can entomb um, with days back up. Yeah, I think we do unmask them right now. Okay, so they have force and a daze. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to... Ah, I could get, like, really greedy here. I, I kind of want to take the ponder. And then I want to... Like cast in tomb, playing around days with the pedal and hope they force. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. It's it's like high risk, but um, let's hope that they identify the in tomb as the key card here. If they don't, and they just like let it resolve. It's interesting. If they daze us, that would be weird. But if they do... Oh, yes. Yes. Let me have it. Okay, so now they have two lands. We'll know if they flip Delver off, like, with something very scary. But that would... The only thing that would, like... That would fuck us would be a daze or a surgical... Or, like, another graveyard thing, of course. But they wouldn't reveal a Graph Digger's Cage. They don't flip, so... Hopefully that's good news. I think... Unless they're, like, cold decking us here with, like, not revealing days. Or surgical. Then, um... I think 
all stations are are go here. Yes, 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 yes. Suck it, Delver. Awesome. Wow. Really glad that that gambit paid off with the um, taking the ponder. Um, all right, cool. Three and one positive record guarantee. Let's see if we can uh, like blow the roof off this thing and, and get a four one. All right, final round of this league on the draw. All right, opponent Mulligan's to six. I am gonna keep this against my better judgment. All right, let's see what the opponent is up to. A polluted Delta Mirror, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, it could have been could have been worse. Probably like Doomsday or I don't know, could be Ant. I've seen a, a few Ant lists lately. I think when in doubt, Thoughtsy oh hang on, because we have Crystal Brand. Okay, maybe I'm just supposed to ponder here. Don't think I'm I'll be playing around Wasteland. I don't think that's that common in these underground sea decks. Uh, yeah, this is. Well, I mean, there was another dark ritual and a tendrils. So, in, in some weird world where this is doomsday and they go off and pass the turn, being able to do like a mini tendrils would be kind of good. Okay, Bloodstained Mire, so combo alert. Volcanic Island, though. Okay, not combo alert. Okay, yeah, you can Belfast Tricks. For sure, my homie. Come on. Okay, I was going to say, like, Shallow Grave, and we're there. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, let's pass here and then go for another Brainstorm next turn, I think. I'm still going to save the, the Thoughtseize in case they, like, get friendly and tap out again. And, um... And we, we can use days to protect ourselves. We can go off with the Grizzlebrand and Thoughtseize. Okay, this is just a regular Grixis control one. Yeah, this is not the fight. We are hoping to have the game over soon. So hang on, let's just see here. So there was another pedal. We would have been four. Oh, man, I fucked up. I could have hard cast Grizzlebrand right now. Do you realize that? Um, oh, that's aggravating. That's so aggravating. Um, hmm. So maybe I'm supposed to... to, like, go for that anyways... Hang on, so let's say we thought sees the opponent. Uh, and I suppose the brazen borrower is what we would not want them to to be keeping in hand. I'm not sure this is like this this is crazy. And I shouldn't have kept all this in hand in, in case they get like to a thought sees. They can just put do the math. Okay, so do they discard anything here? Like, those are some pretty good cards. Okay, they discard the Lightning Bolt. I'm actually not too upset about that. Obviously, depending on what it is that they... that they drew. Yeah, they get a Treasure. We take three. So that brings down the amount of cards we can draw with the old Grizz Father. Just don't him to Torag me, please. I have to remember this makes mana. Yeah, Day's not looking like it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that they found some kind of interaction. Okay. I mean, they can Snapcaster Inquisition here. But not if they leave us with Day's. Ah, oh, man, if I hadn't put the Grizzlebrand... 
if I had, like, oh, that was so dumb. If I had just kept the Entomb, which I'm going to draw anyways, put two Gristlebrand back. Well, they can do the math here and see we can cast Gristlebrand. So they can just take one of the Dark Rituals. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, that was really poor on my part. Of course, there is another Gristlebrand there. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. So we, we stacked it. Oh, I just... Yeah, okay. There's Dark Ritual. So I wonder, since they didn't, like, do the Snapcaster, is that because we have days or because they have a Force? Hmm. Well, let's, um, let's see. Uh, let's Dark Ritual here. And Entomb. Yeah, they were pausing. I think they found the Force... I'm playing right into sp Spell Pierce here, where I didn't need to. If that was randomly the card they're sitting on. If they have Force, it's it's I think it's a pretty easy Force of Will. So. They could Snapcaster Brainstorm, but whatever Snapcaster play they have gets dazed. Okay. Could we, like, what, Drown in the Lock? Could that be in this deck? Snapcaster. I think I let Snapcaster resolve here. Okay, so they cast, they try and brainstorm in response. And then I daze that. Okay, do we get our Gristle Brand? Yep, okay, and we have our land drop. We have the petal. So even though we only get 14 cards here, we're looking like not terrible, but yeah, we, we, we need some help. Thankfully, they attacked with the Baleful Strix, huh? Or that, that's seven cards we wouldn't be able to draw. Okay. We still don't have an animation spell. So I suppose it's up to these ponders. Right? So we need to find tendrils or children of Corliss or shallow grave or reanimate. That is none of those. Oh, we found the children. Beautiful. All right. I love Children of Corliss with Grizzle Brand. Funny story, I was playing this in a league before recording, and I was playing against Ant, and I conceded with like 12 copies of Tendrils on the stack with my Children of Corliss in play. And right as I conceded, I looked at the, the, the children, I looked at the Tendrils, it's like, hey, hang on. And I could have just beaten that, um, but I didn't because I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, so I think we're just about there. Let's uh, not randomly play into a daze from them. I don't think they're the kind of deck that has daze. All right, good times were had by all. All right, cool. Is this the Doomsday Pivot? Yeah, I don't hate that, to be honest. They are likely to keep in some number of Lightning Bolts, which is not so so nice for us. But um, I do like where we're at here Oops. with the Doomsday Plan. Uh, there we go. Don't want the Lion's Eye Diamond. And let's cut a grizzle brand, cut the emerald. No, sorry, not cut the emerald. Cut the tendrils. Cut some gorios. And the reanimate. Cut the cabal therapy. And I guess the chrome mocks. 
go like this. All right, let's have a good one. Um, yeah, I uh, know. We can't, like, if we could grief ourselves, but we can't. Um, yeah, I'll keep this, and I will bottom the oracle. So, like, if we... I like seeing basic island. It probably means, like, Flusterstorm or something. I can't believe I missed that hardcast crystal brand line, by the way. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's play these. Uh, our island. Props to the opponent for the uh, Alpha Beta Unlimited art. I just, like, I'm too much of a, I don't know, I, I was going to say spike, but I'm not sure I'll, I'd go that far, but I'm just, it just feels like you're, you're like leaving value on the table by not playing snow covered islands or snow covered snow covered basics um think i'm okay to pass here and maybe i'll brainstorm on their end step i'd really like brainstorm to resolve so if they fetch here i might just brainstorm in response on the other hand it's also nice to be able to somewhat insulate versus discard with the brainstorm. It's kind of rough if they play like Narset. Yeah, there she is. Okay, I'll, I'll brainstorm. No Doomsday. But we do have like, again, Hardcast. <laughs> hardcast Gristlebrand. What is up with this? Um, not next turn unless we just want to run it in, like if, if they have, yeah, let's, uh, let's go like this. Like if we want to thought seize, we can't, um, we can't hard cast him. Let's see what they find here. Cling to dust. Okay. Like, if I find a daze here, I'm just going for the Gristaddy, even though we can't draw with him. I mean, we can pay seven and draw one on their car on their turn. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's thought seize. I'm going to hate my life if they don't have force of will. Okay, they have double force. Yikes! Yeah, not. I don't think we're we're winning this. Uh, this this game. The. The Narset is gonna. The Narset is gonna offer too much value here. Surgical. Okay. They almost forgot to brainstorm or chose not to, but then decided they wanted to. Well, I mean, if we draw, like, on Mask or Grief right now, uh, no. All right. We need Unmask or Grief. And I guess it doesn't even matter because they, they can just cast Jace next turn and, like, bounce. Yep, that's fine. And bounce the Grizzle, the Grizzle Father. Okay, I think I'm going to concede here. Um, I don't know that I don't want to just still be like have the doomsday combo. I think that's probably still good, especially if we can like be successful in, in getting it off early turns. Maybe siding out the Cabal Therapy is wrong. Like I think Cabal Therapy mainly is there to be able to like I suppose maybe as a failsafe to, to get Gristlebrand 
back into the graveyard after you've like gone off with him if you want to save him for another turn if, but I'm not sure if that's even like a legitimate point are you kidding me oh fuck <laughs> okay well we can't we can't keep this we almost could but for that tundra yeah let's keep this and I'm gonna probably save the Sheldar Isle in case we can like just thought seize. That's oh, right, like Doomsday next turn. I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna turn one. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna ponder first. Save the thought seize. Come on, show us Doomsday. Uh I'm going to keep this brainstorm. I'm not going to draw it. Don't want to like lose it to a uh, to a thought seize from them, but um I think the brainstorm is fine. We don't really want the children. But then again, having the children is not like the end of the world. Okay, turn one play here. Thought seize or ponder, I guess. Inquisition, okay. It's not a very commonly played legacy card. Okay, so we have to assume they have some kind of disruption. Okay. Well, I don't hate the children, I suppose. We shouldn't hate children. Uh, let's put back the flats. And... The Dark Ritual, I guess. This sucks if we get our other Dark Ritual taken from us. And now I kind of wish I had my therapy to draw. That'd be kind of nice. At least the children can somewhat, like, uh, pressure Narset. Um. <sighs> uh. Also, no, I don't think you, yeah, you lose your life with Doomsday, right? So I think, like, sacking these after Doomsday should get your, your life back. That'd be, that's kind of funny. Well, yeah, two cantrips and we're, like, going nowhere here, which is unfortunate. attack I think I'm going to play out the, the Misty just in case we draw a Brainstorm and end up wanting to like Doomsday and cast Sheldar on the same turn but resolving Doomsday right now seems like a uh, somewhat of a unlikely scenario what's this end of turn okay I was gonna like say should I like fetch and then sack to not lose the life but I think the fetch line is worth more they still haven't seen the doomsday the doomsday sort of thing them slamming Narset here would be pretty devastating and like obviously the, the game has slipped from our reach and gotten to the point where it's it's hard to. It's hard to really, f like claw clawed back. They don't shuffle. Thought sees okay. Well, they're gonna take shallow grave here. I would imagine. Yeah. So we could like they only have four cards now. We could hope against hope that what they're sitting on is not force of will, but rather like um. Rather like surgicals, cling to dust. So I wonder if I like where to draw grief, should I like go cavern on elemental or go cavern on wizard and then just cast the grief anyways? Ah, uh, oh, this is so awkward. So what's this? 
Ponder, okay. Shuffling away the last card they knew. Tap out for Jace. Get dazed. They don't shuffle. Narset, sadly not tapping out. Okay. I think that's probably all she wrote. Surgical Extraction, oh no. Doomsday, oh, come on. Why? Okay. Yeah, I mean, they can surgical these. I think this means they have a second surgical. Ah, oh, I could have shell grave in response. That was dumb. I should have done that. Attack the Narset. Yeah, that was that was a gimp play on my part, not seeing that. So they got to see our deck. They were pretty quick about it, so I'm not sure if they noticed the Doomsday. They probably did. And also, it probably doesn't matter now. Jace, the Sculptor of Minds. Sure. They are also now like 30 or 23 cards into their deck. And they've not... I haven't seen Force of Will yet, so it seems pretty impossible that they wouldn't have a Force in hand. But, I mean, I'm still going to go for the Doomsday if... Uh, if they happen to, if I happen to draw it, I of course don't. Okay, I am going to concede now to the Jace Narset lock. All right, all right, all right. 3 2, though, still kind of okay with that, or not kind of okay. I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. All right, so um, I think this is a blast to play. Um, it's not. I, I still think I'm. I like. I, I pretty much said what there needs to be said about this at the beginning. Like I think it's. Uh, I think it's less consistent than Black Red Reanimator. Like it's less good at being a Reanimator deck, but it's a lot cooler in my mind <laughs> and a lot more fun. But you know, that's uh, to each their own. I uh, I think the deck showed itself from its best side in this league. Like, I think um, we we didn't get hit by, like, we didn't whiff. I don't think we whiffed once. Like, every time we got Gristlebrand into play, I think we won. And I've definitely played this where you do whiff. And unlike Black-Red, where there is no whiffing, you know, with Black-Red, you'll get Gristlebrand into play. And by the end of that turn, your opponent will have, like, no relevant cards in their hand, and you'll probably have like a Crystal Brand and an Arcana Cruelty or something. Where here, if you whiff, it's like, well, probably lose. I think the Doomsday Duke is fine. I think it, it we showed what it can do. We I think we also saw like the backside to that medallion with the flip side to that medallion, which is that it's just not like you you end up with a somewhat. Uh, I don't know, like sutured mess of a deck where, you know, we just, we keep drawing shallow graves when what we want is Doomsday and stuff like that. So maybe there's a, a better way to approach than what, than what I did. But anyways, I hope you had fun. I know I did. And stay safe out there and I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye.